So Ollie, we're here at Ettington, where Charlie Post and Fran Nimmo train. We've just seen a lot of the babies come up from the Derby and Land Rover sale. They, they look a, a nice bunch. Yeah, um, a lovely bunch. Uh, we bought 14 or 15 horses from the, from the two sales. Um, delight with them. Charlie and Fran do a fantastic job. They do all of my breaking and, and, and pre-training here. Um, as you've seen, they've all just come up the gallop and uh, yeah, they're all looking good, Nick, and they're not far off coming back to, back to Warren Chase. And George Ater was uh, an impressive winner of a, a race at uh, a bumper at Foss Lass under Lewis Stones for Andrew Brooks. Must have been really pleased with the way he went about that. Delighted. Um, I thought he was visually quite impressive. Um, I was delighted to get my first winner for, for Andrew Brooks, um, who, who's got four horses for me now. So uh, he's a good supporter of the yard and it was great to reward him with a winner. Um, he's a horse that... Uh, that looks like he's got a good attitude. Um, I'd imagine I'll probably go for a winner's bumper with him. Um, so uh, he acts on this good ground well, he'll be kept on the go. Um, he actually got a good ride off, off Lewis Stones. Um, so yeah, no, I was delighted. And Angel Harlem obviously won at Market Raisin last week. Tried to back up the run without a penalty at Southall. And uh, you know, she, she, she ran a nice race. She pulled well clear of, of, of the third, but probably just bumped into one. Yeah, I think you've hit the nail on the head. She did bump into one. Um, you know, running horses back quick, I don't know for whatever reason, it's never been a, a lucky thing for me. Um, my hand was forced to run her back. Uh, there were no excuses whatsoever. Uh, they pulled 42 lengths clear of the third, so a bit of a disaster, really. I, I hope the handicapper doesn't take it literally, but uh, she's a mare who's going to win her races still. She'll definitely jump a fence in time, but yeah, it's frustrating when you pump into one like that and pull so far, when you pull so far clear of the third. You've also got horses entered over the weekend at uh, Cartmel. There's Candy Bergen, Andrew Brooks ran a, ran a nice race first time at Utoxeter, and also Undefined Beauty that you say will most likely go there. She's obviously had a break and coming back. What, what are those two's chances? Yeah, I thought Candy Berger uh, would have a good each way chance in the, the Lady Riders race. Georgina Andrews is going to ride her, ride him, sorry. Um, he's in good form. He had a good first run in New Tox to for me. So I think if he's come forward from that run, he'll, uh, he, he'll run very well. Um, and the filly I'm going to run the last, Undefined Beauty. Um, she got beat at long odds on the last day in Newcastle, but she's very ground dependent. So uh, the good ground run there will suit her and, uh, and the, the way the race will be run. Um, she seems in good form. She did a nice piece of work yesterday. So yeah, fingers crossed she'll run well as well. And Stratford on Sunday, <coughs> Night Commander, Ordo Abchow, and also um, potentially this lovely lady, and Craig Moore. So you've got quite a few in there. Are there what are your likely runners there? Yeah, I'd say I'll run three or four uh, in Stratford on Sunday. Craig Moore run the Novice Handicap Chase. Uh, seems in great form. I just hope it's not going to be too sharp for him around there, but very happy with him. His form's solid. Um, so. Uh, yeah, and I really look forward to running him. Uh, this lovely lady deserves to win a little bumper off her, off her first two starts. Um, she seems in good form. She was second round there on her last start. So, uh, again, she's going to have a live chance. Um, Knight Commander's going to have to put behind a lacklustre effort on the flat the last day. Um, but he's actually just done a good bit of work. Um, 10 minutes ago so uh, he seems back in good form and he uh, he ran a nice race when, when when falling on his penultimate start in Suddle so if he came back to that run he'd, um, he'd have a chance as well and um, I'm going to run Ordo Abchow in the cellar um, he's been a bit disappointing but he's dropping down an awful long way in uh, in, in the grades and uh, listen, I'd be disappointed if he wasn't very competitive in the cellar Fergus Gregory, a little bit of an update on him. Fergus has been <coughs> back riding out. He's obviously back and forth to Oaksy House, but mu must be great to have Fergus back in the yard. I, I know you're a big fan of, of Fergus and love love supporting him. Yeah, no, great to have him back around the yard. He's a he's a great lad to have around the place as well as a as a talented young lad in the saddle. Um, he's been back in since Monday, so yeah, no, brilliant to have him back around. Um, please God, he'll he'll get his uh, concussion tests and everything passed for for after the the, the August jumps break, and we'll have him back in action there. Uh, hopefully in the start of September um, but yeah no great to have him back around and, and yeah no it's like having a, a new member of staff back and the, the youngsters you obviously got them in you know jockeys on their backs etc this week uh, have you had a, had a nice week with them nice seeing those sort of you know get them back in and, and get them back on the on, on the gallops and see see them see them sort of progress yeah um listen, we've been riding all the all the wind horses since monday so we've been uh we've been very very busy this week it, it's the time of year now where there's a big overlap between the the, the the summer and the winter horses so it's probably our busiest time of year um but yeah no everyone's delighted to have these the, the, these wind horses back in and uh i don't want the summer to go too quick but i suppose roll on the autumn when we'll have our proper national hunt racing back we're talking to summer, 
big weekend this weekend. Ibiza, Ollie Murphy goes to Ibiza on a, on a stag do. Tom Messenger stag do, good friend of yours, his assistant's Dan Skelton. Dan Skelton, Harry, Jared Tumulty, Andrew Tinkler, lots of lads, Charlie Post going. Um, you might, you know, good, good weekend ahead. Yeah, I don't know if I'm looking forward to it or dreading it. I can't really make my mind up, but yeah. Fly out Sunday morning and, and we're meant to fly back uh, Wednesday morning all being well and with a bit of luck I'll be back in my own bed on Wednesday night but yeah I'm sure we'll have good crack. It's been a, a long winter and, and we've all been busy through the summer as well and we're all good friends and there's a real good group of us going and I'm sure we'll uh, we'll have plenty of fun. Well good luck with your runners on uh, over the weekend and obviously good luck in Ibiza. Have fun. Good man, thanks.